So yesterday I had an interview for a senior JavaScript developer position at a fairly large company here in Silicon Valley. And I thought I'd kind of share the interview question with you because I thought it was interesting myself. It was the kind of question, the more you worked on it, the more things fell apart. And you really have to have a solid understanding of JavaScript to understand why things are falling apart and what you can do to fix them. And it's actually a fairly simple question in itself. If you're watching this video because you have an interview coming up for a JavaScript position, there's actually a link in the description that goes to a JS fiddle, and you can try answering this question yourself. Like I said, it's a fairly simple question, and I left the objectives in the comments. So let's just jump right into it. I'm just going to create a JavaScript document on my desktop. Okay. And the question was set up like this. And then we can just cancel it out and run it in Node. And you'll see John has a balance of 1300. So let me just put the objectives up here. The first objective is to implement ES6 features into the object. And the second objective is to return the value after, let's say, two seconds. We're talking about this value right here. So if you're still watching this video and you haven't went over to the JS Fiddle, um, go over to the JS Fiddle and try to do this, and then, and then come back here and we can solve it together. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that I would do is to change it from a var into a const. And the reason that I would turn this into a constant is because we don't want another developer to reassign John to maybe a different object. We always want John to be referencing to this object because, because John is really specific. And I feel like this object belongs to John. John is almost like an ID in a way. Okay, so the next thing that I would do is replace this function with an ES6 function. Now, the first thing that probably comes to your mind is to use a fat arrow function. But this introduces a pretty interesting problem. Let's run this again. And you'll see undefined has a balance of not a number. And that's because this is referring to this scope and not this scope. Here, let me show you. If I define this.balance right here and this.name right here, and then we run it again, you'll see John Doe has a balance of 1300. But that's not what we're trying to do. We want this to refer to this scope. But we don't want to use a function like this. So what we can do is actually define it right on the object like this. And that solves our problem. And the next thing that we're going to want to do, which is pretty obvious, is update this string. And we'll do that using backticks and interpolation. Let's try that again. And there we go. So now our first objective is complete. So now the next objective is to return the value after two seconds. Now, of course, we could do uh, set timeout and just run this function after two seconds. And that will work, but we actually want the set timeout to be inside the deduct function itself. 
But if we just drop a set timeout in here, you'll notice that we run into another problem. It just returns undefined. And that's because this return statement is returning this value for this scope right here. And it's not actually returning the value for this function. And we can solve this by using promises. So we can return a new promise. We're going to need a resolved and a rejected. And we can just drop that in here. So instead of returning the string, we're going to resolve it. Now all we have to do is update our console log, deduct 200 from John, then we can council out the message. And there we go. Complete. So I hope this video helped you get ready for your technical interview, maybe gave you a little insight of what to expect. Remember to communicate with your interviewer, to, to articulate your assumptions, feel free to copy code, you know, just copy all of this, comment this out. That way you can always revert back to the one that you had before. And most importantly, communicate with the interviewer. Let them know what's going on in your mind, what your, what your assumptions are. Mostly what they're looking for is how do you go about solving this problem? Don't go in with the idea of I'm not going to make any mistakes. They're going to ask me these questions and I'm just going to have a, that you're going to have the answers to all of the questions instantly. Even if you do have all the answers to the questions, communicate your process with the interviewer. This video probably isn't going to be uh, the exact question that your interviewer is going to ask you. But I hope this kind of gives you uh, an idea of how to go about solving these types of problems. In the future, I plan on uploading more of these. Not all of them being coding exercises, but also technical questions. I hope these videos help you understand the concepts. That way, when they ask you the questions, you don't need to look at some reference. You can articulate the answer and you actually understand the answer that you're giving and it's not just some robotic response. If you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.